Okay, I'm back doing a test on the 16 gauge magnet wire. I'm going to try and do this quicker. Uh, it's 16, it's the same core, exact same core. Um, 16 gauge magnet wire as the set they test it uh, 0.3 ohms and as a set they weigh 2.08 kilograms so it is one third heavier set than the pre than the previous set the 25 gauge set which will make this test a little bit you know it won't be as concrete telling us things it will tell us something right i haven't tried this yet so just so you know but i want to uh, get her going make it go faster our input voltage this time is 12.61 and sorry I don't mean to make people queasy with my video rookie skills here but uh, well what my plan is to do is I'll be erasing this I'll uh, consolidate it onto one piece of paper erase that for next tests and whatnot but I just have a little addendum chart here to go on same as those and when we get our speed result there in volts uh, I kept this on here so we'll be able to look at um, what's going on there so we should be able because it's a different ratio it's uh, previous test it was uh, 5 to 1 copper to iron ratio and now this test uh, is going to show us uh, what's it work out to 6.6 .6 to 1 I think but we'll do this and then I'll talk about what my next test is going to be. This is going to, that'll be a more important test showing us um, more. We'll be able to deduce more from uh, the next test. But I wanted to do this one uh, because I, because everything's set up this way. Oh, now I just want to say very quickly, sorry. <laughs> um, this is the same core. Now I've had to take it off there to put these coil sets on. I measured the distance from here to here, which was six centimeters, if anyone wants to know for sure. And I kept the same gap distance from the inside of this one to the inside of this one as four centimeters. So the conditions are the same. And um, the, the coil shorted out. It's shorted right out. Uh, that diagram I left on the last vid uh, what's wrong it, I showed it as an open circuit just so everyone knows I should have pulled that out for this bit, but next one I guess so here we go let's just get it settled a bit sorry <laughs> okay here we go I'm gonna give her a spin we're starting at 12.61 we have her going the coil is shorted from the beginning and we'll see what happens. We had a base speed voltage of 11.9 with just the uh, core on there. Um, not shorted. So we're coming up to that speed now. Input amps are dropping as a result of the wheel speeding up, right? Uh, just an interesting note maybe about uh, my previous video. Uh, I found it very interesting and uh, I mean I've noticed this myself in playing with these things um, but uh, I loved it on that video when I flipped the switch off and you can see the wheel as it slows down. I actually had it in the frame of the video. And um, it's, it's lensless right till the end almost when it slows right down. It's really very amazing that we can do this at a, at a slower RPM, a lower frequency therefore, right? Uh, it's speeding up. Uh, the previous test with the 25 gauge brought it up to 15.2 and we had an input of 2.39 amps with the 25 gauge so we're at the same spot so far 
I just have an inkling. Oh, there we go. I, I was going to say I have an inkling that this coil set will make it go just a touch faster because there's a third more copper. Now, granted, it's 16 gauge, but previous tests have shown that that um, that the gauge doesn't matter. It's the amount of copper. And it, it's <laughs> it seems to be. Um, the ratio of copper to iron. We'll just let it run for one more minute. To be fair, I really thought that would go up a touch more. It peaked at it. It is peeking at it. That's something that the other coil set didn't do. Now I assumed that because it's got a third more copper on there <coughs> using the same core. So, oh, even a little more. Now granted the AC volts are going to uh, find a spot sometimes and, and flip back and forth with these cheapo Canadian tire multimeters <laughs> so it did sneak up a little bit it looks like we're gonna let it run for another minute and again sorry guys about my video links thus far I really wanted to do those tests um, just in the fairest way and I get babbling <laughs> Uh, now it's snuck up to 15.5. I have a feeling that the capacity in those um, coils too is to maybe build up its effect. I don't know, that's something I need to learn a little more about. Maybe just to mention in 30 more seconds here that we're going to let it run. Um, I was talking to someone about what's going on or speculating about it in the coils and what I've what I imagine is that uh, wired in two oppositely wound coils like that wired together um, if they're wired in series you're gonna get no voltage right the uh, opposite windings cancel each other out so you get no voltage but when you parallel them up you get a voltage across those two um, terminals right like when you uh, parallel up two coils now it's half the voltage that you would get um, off say the exact same amount of copper wound all into one coil in the same direction that's what it seems to me for my tests but um, what I think is happening when they're wired in parallel like that the energy the electricity current built in those two coils each um, individually doesn't want to flow with one another because they're wound in different directions but putting that bridge across or shorting it out or making a little bridge across there is how I kind of imagine it I think allows the current to go back and forth over the bridge and buck back and forth but that's just the thought uh, I'd like to open the door to speculating about what's going on in the coil because I don't know and you know my my speculations about that are probably less than you know other guys out there so I would be real curious to hear what other people think is going on because there's no lensing right the way they're wired either okay we're going to call it a test this has been long enough I'm not going to shut her well write it down Oh, where's my marker? Here we go. So I think we can call it a test. We're going to call it 15.5. 15.5 volts on the measuring coil, 2.3 amps input, 2.38, sorry amps input and 12.43 on the voltage going in 
and we had a starting voltage of 12.61. I think that's what it was, 12.61. Okay, we're going to turn her down, turn it off, I mean, and I'm going to wrap this up. <clears throat> I just finally want to, oop, let me zoom it back out, sorry. I just would like to finally mention uh, my next test, my task for the day. I don't have the wire out, but I have uh, some iron wire, and I'm going to make another core generally in the same dimensions and there's other experiments we can do with dimension size and things like that thanks to my buddies out there for giving me the good suggestions but uh, my what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna make another core basically this same length you know same size basically but it's gonna be half the weight it's only gonna be uh, I have a scale that I can measure a digital scale so I'm going to make it 150, I'm going to weigh out 150 grams of these lengths. Then I'm going to put them together just like this. So effectively, uh, and I'm going to use that other coil set, the 25 gauge. Right? I just wanted to test this one quickly. But um, with that core going from, th the, the ratio of copper to iron in the previous test with the 1.5 kilograms of copper, on the 300 grams of iron basically is a five to one ratio so this what i'm going to do today is make that new core make it 150 grams right and use the same coil set that 25 gauge wire uh, which will be 1.5 kilograms and this will double our ratio right so instead of five to one that'll make it ten to one right because our our uh, coils will be 1.5 uh, kilograms and our new core weight will be 150 grams so this will be very interesting I really want to do that and um, that's what I'm going to be doing today because changing the ratio will tell us a lot uh, putting more wire on these spools um, is more difficult for me than um, making a, a core half the weight comparable and I'll keep these distances the same across here right four centimeters and six centimeters and we'll see what happens uh, hopefully this ratio gets closer right so with this test we were 5.2 volts on speed or the previous test with the 25 gauge this test we were 15.5 uh, volts which moves us even further up the scale last time we were at about 86 uh, percent this will move us up maybe 87% I'll have to click it through the calculator so what you know just a third more copper has moved us up in per, in the percentage comparison of uh, with an empty wheel to you know we're trying to close this gap so with this test we closed it a little more right but the next test is going to be good and I'm going to do that today and make a vid there we go I even rambled more than I wanted okay talk to you later